world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics. I am about to head off and have more fun with the Atlanta Science Festival. I guess I'm going to the Chemistry Carnival and I am going to the Physics Live as well. Again, I did that last year. I just didn't remember what they called the chemistry thing, but Hopefully they serve that cotton candy again, because I'm all for that, baby. So this is a little salad that I'm eating. It was a mix that I got from Aldi, because uh, Trader Joe's was getting to be too expensive grocery bill-wise, so I got something that I could afford, and the nice thing is, they just opened a brand new Aldi's right next door to Trader Joe's. So I often get what I need at this Aldi, and if there's enough money left over, sometimes I'll go over and pick up additional things at TJ's. Like sometimes I'll get something to drink, or sometimes I'll get me some, something that I really want. Like recently, I bought I bought dark roast coffee. That's really good, and. I took that home with me along with everything else. Tomorrow I'm going to Trader Joe's uh, for the expo to get lunch because their food is reasonable and it's really healthy. Everything's fresh right in front of you. And then I'm probably gonna take that into the park for a picnic. So I'm just super excited to be eating Trader Joe's tomorrow for lunch. So. There's a situation on Marta right now, and I wanted to explain this to you. It says you guys um, had a scene at my bus was really late the other day. Well, I found out that Marta is doing a special markup for... Uh, Flashing forward, I'm here at Emory University. This is now considered to be an Ivy League school. Um, my colleagues have a few connections here at Emory, including the Autism Center where I got my second diagnosis with Asperger's Syndrome. And then uh, they also have connections to uh, the School of Public Health since our program is in the School of Public Health as well too. I'm lost, but this area is really pretty, especially in the springtime. I make weird noises like that when I... Sorry, I haven't been able to shoot off much footage, but I've been having a lot of fun asking lots of questions related to science. I'm in love with the chemistry carnival. Unfortunately, they got rid of the cotton candy machine. However, they had this uh, super awesome couple of experiments. One of them, they worked with liquid nitrogen and water and made a really big cloud. And I didn't get a chance to catch it because my phone was really low battery wise. 
but it was really cool. It looked like something that uh, could be used in, pra in practical application. If you mix water and liquid nitrogen, you could create a cloud and what you can do with, with a big massive cloud which explodes out of a metal bin is you can actually create an air conditioning. Now I don't know how much it would cost to create uh, or to buy the liquid nitrogen, but I reckon it would be expensive and you'd have to have quite a bit of funding. But uh, liquid nitrogen isn't toxic. You can also use it to make ice cream. I have seen people make uh, liquid nitrogen ice cream on a countless times. In fact, what you saw last time when I was doing the Atlantic Science Festival last weekend was uh, there were people taking liquid nitrogen and they were making these little uh, what appeared to be like dipping dots and that's how dipping dots are made is that they use liquid nitrogen and then the, the cream the cream this thick cream and chocolate syrup turns into these little balls which is what you see in dipping dots um, I also had fun pretending to be an electron so which makes sense because I have a tendency to be a negative person. I'm an electron, so I'm negatively charged. Uh, and now I'm sitting in the physics building, uh, playing with this ball and watching a driving force from this vacuum set in reverse mode, watching this beach ball floating. And I even met another individual on the spectrum and, her mom, and his mom, and I had a chance to sit down and talk to them. And I had, a, not, I had a chance to, inter, to network with her and get them interested in the, uh, or tell them about our autism conference that's coming up. And then I was watching him over here earlier. He really liked it. He really liked playing at that ball, but he didn't want to share it with anybody else. But he was a nice little boy, very smart, very into physics, but he has a lot of growing to do and a lot of maturing. But he's only 10 years old. Uh, but I reckon that uh, this autistic is gonna grow up to be a scientist, because he really likes physics. So that's what's really cool. Check this place out. It looks like a place for me to study and become inspired to get better at math. I just love this. It's even prettier than Adderhold Hall.
Well, that's it for this edition. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, but if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to check me out on social media, Twitter, Facebook. You can check me out on Instagram. And make sure you don't try to solicit anything on there though. I mainly go on there to promote my, uh, my vlogs. Uh, I may have to set it to private and have people request to join or message me because I'm there to promote uh, my vlogs, not buy things from people. But I am interested in checking out your YouTube videos so I can promote you. But anyway, uh, without further delay, I would like to sign off now. I will see you tomorrow at the expo. Bye.